Okay, real quick overview. We have a line set up in it right and I can't really see crap. Like right in here somewhere. this it's gonna flip and land on your head <gasps> okay real quick overview we have a line set up in it right and I can't really see crap like right in here somewhere um, goes up over that fork comes down and is anchored to the porter wrap i also have my tie-in point set like the line thrown and ready but right now we're going to go ahead and just start cutting on this and try to get it off the area there and get it down to where maybe we can start to lower it Now, now I need to get up there, make some fresh cuts, clean some stuff up, put some furnace spray okay, on. So here's a little bit of up close of the chaos. Um, just need to get this cleaned up. I'm hoping I can make a cut here to clear that off as best as possible. Um, about that baby well that worked out all right but what happened was dave began to lower this here and it had been raining it sunk into the ground and now it's stuck he no, thought he could make some cuts which was we have it anchored in the middle which would cause this thing to flip and just and just not be good at all so um I had just explained it to him Get away from it so that's why i'm all worked up i can't believe they even suggested it so I'm just going to give him a hand here. We're going to try to wiggle this thing loose and hope that it will slide by this branch we're standing on 
and you can see how incredibly heavy this is how the rope reacts listen and then it swings back over towards the electric line too and my trailer's right there too Woo. there it is it worked now can this be bandaged up to heal you know it's going to be a long term thing it's going to need to be inspected but we're going to try here and I'll show you how this comes out about to polish it up we're gonna hit all these spots where it scarred it all up too and then you got a branch out here that broke you want me to get that sure yeah. it it doesn't look like it from down here there but when i got up here it's totally snapped yep don't mind while you're up there i can get it i should do the furthest spots away first that way i don't get covered in pruning spray again like last time okay let me zoom out here. I don't know why my camera is so zoomed in. Oh my God, it's not. Seems like it is. Okay, so here's all the flowers that was underneath that that you couldn't see. You know, there's a few that got, got pushed down. I don't really think anything's broken, so that's pretty nice. A couple little sticks and stuff in here. Um, yeah. So, here's what we're left with. Um, there's where the, where the wound happened. There's a bad spot up there, I think, probably is what started the wound and then started the decay in the bottom part of the limb, which made it fall out. Um, we just sealed everything up as best as we could to keep from oak wilt happening, leaving any open wounds, and, uh, cleaned up everything, put it in this trailer here for him, so that, uh, he didn't have to load it up when he got done, but, I mean, you could see how big this stuff was. Pretty large, um, my, those things, my camera did go, go out while I was up there. So I was in the middle of like spraying crap. I think I just went dead. I still had SD card, but I didn't bring an extra battery because I wasn't thinking. But yeah, that's it. We're all cleaned up and we're out. Go over here and get my Red Bull I left. See you on the next one.